just got into uni and you've got your first assignment and oh my god what a nightmare they told you to use harvard referencing or apa or vancouver what does all of this mean i'm going to show you how to reference for beginners check it out and welcome to my channel, Confessions of a Dr. Holic. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Hafsa Slayman. I'm a third year medical student at St. George University of London. And before this, I've done a Bachelor of Biomedical Science. So this video is dedicated to all of you out there who have made it into university. First and foremost, congratulations. Today, you've got your first assignment and it can be so nerve wracking. I remember my first ever assignment, we had to write a paper about drug resistance and malaria. And the biggest nightmare was learning how to reference. So if you've never referenced before, this is where you need to be. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what's on my laptop at the moment. So, cause I went to Deakin University, we had our own Deakin referencing guide. So that's what I'm gonna show you, Deakin University referencing guide. Um, every university has its own referencing guide. It's essentially the same, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. So here we go. This is what I, I'm going to show you. The Deakin University referencing guide. It's a great starting point. So you'd be looking at papers or you'd be looking at the internet. At some, You'd be looking at some journal articles. You might be looking at some websites. Whatever you want to use, just check out this website. So. Um, so here's the Deakin referencing guide and I've scrolled down and you can you can see APA, Chicago, Harvard, just a number of different referencing guides. So I'm going to use Harvard because that's the one that that's the first one I've ever used. And apparently that's one of the hardest ones out there. OK, so as you can see over here, it tells you general principles, books, images, web, other sources. And you literally click on this and it gives you how to form in-text citations. It gives you a list. It gives you a couple of examples and it tells you how to compile a referencing list as well. All right, so say you kind of can't be bothered typing all of this out. This is another thing that I tend to use. I would just go to Google Scholar and I'm gonna use the example from the other video. So pycnodysostosis variant CTSK gene, okay? So you click on the, uh, double, the double comma sign and it says cite. And then over here, you've got a list of different references. It doesn't have it all, but it's got the, the major ones that I tend to use. So Harvard, APA, Vancouver, and you can just copy and paste this. It's not necessarily always accurate. So if you copy and paste this, make sure you cross reference it with your university referencing guide, or you could use the Deakin University referencing guide. I'm going to have it in the link below so you don't have to run around and type it into Google. All right, if this helped you out, subscribe and hit the notification button. And for the next video, I'm going to show you what we use once you get used to referencing. See ya.